Excuse what was me. said in there after the game? Um. I mean, <laughs> just how we played today, how we came out flat the last couple games this whole season. Nothing new. Tanya's, I guess, just you know, heading into the conference tournament, is it at least refreshing to know that it's a new season, you guys can turn the page and I guess kind of control your own destiny in that regard? Oh, of course. I mean, I know that as a senior, but uh, I feel like some of my younger players, because it's been a long season and uh, they don't understand how tournament play is, uh, it's kind of hard to get them to understand. But I think we are going to be able to turn a page, take a couple of days off, get off our legs, recover, and then come back and come back and move forward on Tuesday. Tony, I know you didn't really guard her individually, but uh, heard for TCU, how much of a matchup uh, problem can can she be uh, for your defense? I mean, obviously she had 26 points. Yeah. Um, she can score at all three levels. She got to the paint. Uh, she pulled up. She shot the three ball. I mean, it was just her night. Uh, Ray, she had a good night too, 18 points. Um, and that alone, I mean, that, that was majority of their points. Right. Uh, if we stopped one of them, we would have been in the game. Um, but that's what happens when you don't play defense, when you don't communicate, when you don't match up. It's something that we got to work on. For those problems that have kind of been the consistent, the communication thing, I guess, on defense, has that been like a, a constant? Uh... Sure. I mean, looking at all the games, it's, just, it's pretty much the same thing. It's either we don't talk, we don't box out, we don't play good defense, uh, three-point percentage down, free throw line percentage down, field goal percentage overall down. Right. I mean, that's what happens. Why do you think that is on defense? Just not playing hard. Uh, compared to the first semester, I mean, we were playing our ass off. Excuse my language, but we were playing hard. We were getting up the lane, and we didn't have a problem. If we scored, we scored. If we didn't, we had our defense. Now, because we're not playing good defense and we're not great, uh, it's harder to score. We're not moving the ball, so we're taking bad shots. Me personally, taking bad shots, and I mean, when you get punched in the mouth, you can't really recover. Thanks, just to cover all bases here. Um, I know Coach in the past has always left it up to the team, to the players, on whether or not um, they want to play in the NIT or not. I know that's something you guys don't want to think about at this point, because obviously you still have the conference tournament. But mm -hmm. um, if it were to come to that, do you think? I mean, you all, you know, you've played in it before. The team's played in it before. Is something that you guys would be interested in? I mean, just like you said, I, I don't know. Right. I'm not thinking that far. I'm thinking about Tuesday, getting to the Big 12, and taking it one day at a time. Tiny's understandably, you were pretty emotional when you were walking out the carpet, uh, surrounded by family. Uh, what was kind of going through your mind when, uh, during your senior day ceremony? Um, I mean, just everything. I've been through, the program has been through the last five years, um, seeing how many people came out to support. And uh, I mean, just knowing that that was my last game in the Coliseum with that team, uh, because I've been here five years, I've been through a lot of teams, uh, young, old. So just putting that all into perspective at once and then having my family come up here, and it was just a lot, so yeah.